We should know that density is mass divided by volume, but that's not the whole story. If I take this very dense brass ball and place it in a jar of beans, which are the beans are much less dense than the brass ball, the ball should sink. But the particles don't want to move out of the way until I add some energy by shaking the jar. Shaking the jar enough, the brass ball will indeed sink. This is actually a property called buoyancy, where a more dense object will sink into a less dense object. This could happen, for instance, in a magma chamber in the Earth where dense crystals sink to the bottom of the liquid magma. But also, less dense crystals could rise, as we see from this ping pong ball that is less dense than the beans. Getting the beans as particles or molecules to move out of the way, the ball then can rise to the surface, demonstrating this property of buoyancy. But that's not the whole story. What happens is most materials, as they warm up, they increase in their volume. But the mass stays the same, so that we see that density will decrease because it's mass divided by volume. So thinking about that, that warm objects become less dense, then we can think about that and what that means in the terms of magma. Let's relax and watch.